good afternoon good afternoon everyone and welcome to aurora online classes we are meeting each other after a break of some days just because of the first term examination was going on and uh, actually in my previous class i taught i was teaching you the poem no men are foreign and today i'll complete the remaining part of the poem i taught you this poem conveys a very beautiful message that we all human beings should live in harmony we should live in togetherness we all are the children of god so there is no difference at all we are in no way different from the people of any country we have only one religion that binds us together and that is our humanity so this poem conveys the message of universal brotherhood and love all are ours though they belong to different countries they have different geographical boundaries limits they follow different religions they follow different faiths they have different culture but we are same we are same because our feelings are same our needs are same we breathe in the same air we use water we use food for our survival we express our feelings like love we feel sorrow we feel sad we feel happy so these are the feelings that everyone every one of us each one of us is having so we are not different from others we have sleep we wake up and we should spread the message of love and humanity so let's begin with the fourth stanza of this poem let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispose betray betray means to cheat deceive dhoka dena condemn means to criticize and dispose means to deprive remember we who take arms against each other this is the fourth line of the stanza no men are foreign we are not different from each other we all are same because we we have, we all have the same feelings we all have the same needs so what happens actually there are some people wicked people evil people bad people and these bad people always try to misguide us for their selfish motives and they make us violent they make us angry and they make us shed the blood of our brothers and what do we do to hate our brothers we should remember if we hate others others are also our brothers they are not different from us so in hating others we are hating ourselves and most of the countries actually the people actually they plunder the lands and exploit the people they grab the lands of other countries and they exploit the people of other countries as our country india had suffered a lot unbearable pain just because of the britishers britishers ruled over india about 200 years the moguls ruled over india for many years like that so actually the poet tells us that we should remember that they are 
not our enemies. They are our brothers. They are our friends. And if we hate friends, our friends, if we hate the people of other country, if we hate the people belonging to other religion, we hate ourselves because they are our brothers. So, we, if we cheat them, betray them, criticize them, in one way, we criticize ourselves because they are our brothers. If we, if we betray them, betray means deceive, dhokha dena. If we betray others, we betray our brothers. If we hate others and we bring forth enmity, enmity crops up just because of hatred. So we should remember that we should not hate anyone else. They are our brothers. We should not use what happens that we should not use arms against them. We use weapons against them who take arms against each other. We should stop fighting. We should not betray. We should not deceive others. <coughs> deceiving others means deceiving ourselves. If we speak ill of others, they are our brothers. We speak ill of ourselves. We criticize ourselves. So, remember, we who take arms against each other. So, the poet tells us to stop hating others. Because others are not our enemies, they are our brothers. They are our kids and kings. We all have only one duty and our duty is to respect humanity. We, have, we all have our one value and that is the value of humanity and we have only one duty to respect humanity to take care of humanity and we all we all are human beings so we should be we should be friends to others we should be lovable we should be kind we should be generous to others we should not fight against others because they are also the children of god and if we hate them, we hate ourselves. So it is better to spread uh, love among us. It is better to love them rather than to hate them. We should not hate anyone else. We should, we should love them. And when we love others, others will also love us. And there will be a beautiful society to live in. There will be harmony all around. Harmony means Living peacefully together, ek saath mil jul kar ke rehna. that is called living peacefully together is called harmony. So if we live in harmony, if we live together peacefully, we, we can progress a lot, we can prosper a lot. So for progress and prosperity, it is needed that we should live in harmony. Because our brothers, they are our brothers, they are not our enemies. This is what the poet wants to tell. Now, the last stanza. It is the human earth that we defile. There is a word defile means to pollute, to make dirty, gandhakar. We are living in this earth. We are living on this earth. And it is the human earth that we defile. We pollute this earth. We, 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 we make this earth dirty just because of our mindless acts of war. Our hails of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air. Our hail, hails of fire. These the hails of fire. We burn fire during war. We use missiles during war. We explode bombs during war. So such explosives are used during war which create fire. And we use chemical weapons. So we use chemicals, we use fire and these chemicals and fire pollute the innocence of air. Means purity of air. And then it is difficult for us to breathe in. 
so the poet tells us that hells of fire here hells of fire refer to the fire that we burn and dust refer to the chemicals that we use during war and by using fire and chemicals we pollute the fresh air be outrage means be violate we make it dirty we make the air impure of air that is everywhere on everywhere our own remember no men are foreign and no countries are restrained the poet says that man has become selfish and just in order to show our superiority just in order to establish ourselves that we are superior to others what happens we act we become savage we become fierce we become cruel we become brutal and in savage acts of war we pollute this earth we make this earth dirty we make this we make this air dirty we use missiles we use explosives we use uh, chemical uh, chemical and nuclear weapons during war and all these create a kind of turmoil and commotion which 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 destroy which destroys the pure atmosphere of this earth so what does it happen actually with our mindless thoughtless and barbaric acts war is a barbaric act fierce act brutal cruel act savage act jungly mindless thoughtless so with our mindless and barbaric acts our behavior manners work our acts are barbaric our acts are savage they are thoughtless act useless act destructive acts i would say war is a destructive act it uh, war never brings construction it brings destruction and damage it causes a heavy it causes a heavy a huge loss of lives and property a huge loss of resources everything gets polluted air gets polluted the atmosphere pure atmosphere of the earth gets dirty gets polluted so with our mindless and barbaric acts we destroy the pure atmosphere and in this way we dig our own graves apna qabr khud khod rahe hain we are destroying ourselves we are bringing damage to ourselves by creating wars against others because they are not different they are not our enemies the poet says that they are our brothers so in this way we dig we dig our own graves so we must remember the poet tells us to remember that the people we kill are our own brothers the people we kill in a war are our own brothers and the land we destroy is our own home this is the land of humanity anywhere any part on this earth let there be no geographical boundaries let there be no borders let let all the people come together and let all the people come forward to get united together to stay united together let them live in love let them live in peaceful atmosphere there should be no battle there should be no war there should be no destruction there should be no use of arms and ammunitions 
there should be no use of fire and chemicals during uh, in this world during war because killing others means we kill our brothers hating others means we hate our brothers destroying and damaging land means we are destroying and damaging our own land where we live we pollute air by using fire and chemicals this is called hells of fire and dust dust means chemicals in war we are killing others we are not killing others we are killing our own brothers so we should try to understand that people living in this world are one they are human beings they have only one value that is humanity they have only one religion that is humanity they have only one duty and that is to respect humanity they are not enemies so the poet conveys the message of universal brotherhood universal love so the land that we destroy is our home and the entire earth is our land this entire earth is the land is our home this is the home for humanity this is a home of humanity this is a home this entire earth this whole earth is a home for all mankind for all human beings and this home this earth is a gift of nature it's a blessing from almighty god so we should stop quarreling we should stop fighting we should stop hating we should stop bringing damage and destruction we all are one we are not we are not different we all are same we all have a common life and our common life is the same so remember no men are foreign and no countries a strange we should remember that no countries are foreign people are not strange they are not strangers we all are one we all we all have the same needs we all have the same feelings and we should live peacefully we should live in harmony and we should always try to progress and we should always make efforts to be prosperous nobody can stop us from living a peaceful happy healthy and hearty life so let us not destroy this land let us not make uh, this air dirty let us live together and with this this lesson comes to an end thank you very much my dear students this is all for today this poem is over we are not no men are foreign we all are same thank you very much that's all for today